Hello there guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you watching this video, watching, watching. And um, I, I don't know, I never made this video before, um, why not? In quarantine right now with the virus, so let's hope that um, this will be helpful for someone once you get out into the real world you can implement some of this advice and you can do some stuff right now too because a lot of it is can be done online too like writing blog posts which is, which is helpful for your business but in this video i'm going to talk the basic steps how to start your own service business so i've had i've started as a massage therapy business and then expanded into hiring other people and then um aesthetics and makeup and we're i'm trying to add online shops up right now we added I'm trying to expand into those um, avenues as well you know especially when you can see people in person having something to sell like online is excellent and we were not prepared for that so now we are gonna be looking to that much more for next year and I'm, I'm doing this but to start let's see what is the most important thing the most important thing to know it's like everything worth doing is worth doing badly so at the beginning you might not be the best at what you do but keep on practicing and honing your skill once you have uh, gained some skills or got your certificates in your service field then you can um, start working with people closest friends start asking reviews then once you build up a couple clients, rent a space. Don't get a big expensive space, get something small so you can easily afford it. And then um, after you build up so many clients that you need to outsource um, and hire off to um, you know, hire other people to do that work, then you can add a bigger space and that's how you grow and later you can add more services and different services when I built my business I didn't take any loans I did all my just organic growth and I think it's the best because you learn as you go like okay you can get a big loan and build this big business but then um, if it build it if you build it will they really come so that's a question to ask and as you start small you have lower risk of course this might take a little longer but you know everything um, even bamboo starts growing from, you know, it's in the ground and the ground and the ground until it becomes a tree it takes a very long time. So think about that about the business. Nothing happens overnight. And the longer you're in the ground, the stronger roots you have, the, the bigger foundation you can have so your business doesn't crumble and fall. Like right now, we're not crumbling and falling because we have strong foundation. And once we open up, we'll have our clients coming back and also we have savings you know we're not operating from loans or anything like that we're we've been cash flowing and that's very important for the business so if you want to start business you know very important get a website you might have a free one at first and then get a paid one hire a good um, designer because you know you want to have good pictures you want to compete with other established businesses if you want to become an established business so you have to appear like you are already established that way you create credibility with your customers keep everything very clean handle complaints very promptly um, you know it's better to always refund if anything customers not happy um, because that bad review is not worth it just be nice to everyone and uh, your business will be successful be nice is very important key in building your business and um, providing value the more value you provide the more nice you are of course within the lines um, you know there's you're still reasonable but you have to um, just know it will take time but if you don't give up you will succeed very important to make sure you add your website to Google listings to all other online directories because that will tell Google SEO that your website is credible. Ask your friends to um, if they have blogs to link to your blog because you want to build SEO, you want to be found. And writing blog, adding keywords, that will be helpful too to be found as CEO. Establish yourself as a professional in the field. 
and writing articles to say about the answer questions in your field like massage, makeup, skincare, or IT, or candle making, or whatever it is, you know, you want to establish yourself as a professional. Well, I hope this video was, was helpful, and I thought it all uploaded. And, uh, you know, being a business owner is a full-time job. It is, especially until you can build it so big that you can step down and hire everything out. It is going to be more than just being an employee. It's definitely more work than being an employee because when you leave work, usually you don't leave work. You still think about it. And if you don't think about it, you're probably not going to be very successful. You have to be obsessed at least for the first five years. Whatever it is, you have to think about every detail, everything. So, if you're ready for that, I know you can do it. And again, have a brilliant day. Don't give up. And hope this video was helpful. I will look into as well expanding in online because that's the future. Hope to see you guys soon. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye.